Persons or political parties have gone to IREV to download the uploaded forms EC8A and collated the results that are on the IREV. So it is funny that the results are different from what INEC returning officers, professors, are reading out at the physical collation center. How can professors that are supposed to be above mistakes above mistake i use that word very intentionally be involved in computational inflation so why would the computation of a professor be different from the computation that is on inex irev and then it becomes funny that another professor will read the erroneous rigged result from the professor that came to deliver it. You people should know what you're doing. We can't just be bent on rigging and forget that we have a country and we have children that are looking at us. We have youths that are looking at us. We have international agencies that are looking at us. I mean, come on, what are we doing? Professor. Professor. That is supposed to be above board. What are you doing? I neck. I neck. I don't blame my neck so much. The individuals within INEC, the professors, the doctors, the persons that are supposed to be world collation officers, those people, that's where the, the corruption, the, the collation rigging starts. And it is time we started paying attention to these people. Let us begin to call out all the electoral officers at the World Collision Center because we shout Mahmoud Yakub so much that we fail to pay attention to the people that are actually carrying out the rigging. It's the electoral officers at the polling units that are used to disenfranchise voters that are already in queue but they say, oh, they have closed. It's the electoral officers. The youth core members. The returning officers, they are the ones we need to shine and pay attention to them. We have their names, we should begin to publish them. It is the World Collation Center that will see that there's a particular result from a polling unit, but still goes ahead to blatantly inflate it. It has not gone to Yakubu, Mahmoud, then. It's at the world. We need to call out those people at the world. We need to call them out. Enough of them hiding in plain sight. We, we should publish their names, their photographs, and what they have done. Go to the word, the, to the particular word on INEX IREV, download the result, collate it, and when the results are different between what INEX has on IREV and what is written on the form EC8B, EC8C, and EC8D, we publish the names of the returning officer for the ward, for the local government, for the state. We publish it. We need to hold everybody along the whole chain, the whole process accountable. It is not just to shout INEC. It is not just to shout Mahmoud Yakubu. What they are doing here is already too late. Once the result gets to the final collation center for the governorship election in Edo, it is the state. Once it gets here, it's already too late. It should be tackled from the ward. And that's why I say parties, we not self, they trust INEC too much. The Electoral Act 2022 does not forbid a political party, I keep saying it, from having their own collation center and publishing their own collated result. It does not forbid them. The Electoral Act only puts power on INEC to be the only one to declare winner. Electoral Act does not stop political parties from doing their own collation and putting it on their website for people to see. And if the political parties are afraid, we citizens, we should set it up. These few vampires cannot continue to have their way unanswered. They cannot. 
we can put things in place to check them. We should not continue to use this approach of, oh, they rig, oh, they can rig. No, they are not so powerful in any case. They were only able to rig here because of poor voter turnout, voter apathy. So if voters come out in their numbers, it will be almost impossible for them to rig. And then we should push for electoral reforms beginning now. Beginning now. Stop talking about, oh, divide the nation and save lives. You all know that's not going to happen. Stop shouting, oh, revolution now, revolution now. You all know you don't have the resources to do revolution. But what we do have the power to do is to organize and put structures in place to make sure that this rubbish that INEC continues to perpetrate does not happen. We have to behave like APC behaved in 2015. If APC could do it in 2015, we can do it in 2027. We can. Yes, you may say Tinubu knows how to rig. Don't forget that was how we said PDP knows how to rig. In fact, they were so confident of their rigging, they said they would be in power for 50 years. But when people organized and rallied behind APC in 2015, we were able to, to topple the so-called incumbency. We can do it. Stop allowing this narrative. It's a, it's a negative narrative, a negative propaganda that the APC is pushing deliberately to discourage people from coming out, to discourage people from participating in the election, to discourage people from holding Tinubu accountable. Don't let us fall for it. I beg you. Let us organize. We can put things in place to checkmate INEC, to checkmate the police, the security agencies, to checkmate thugs, to checkmate even the judiciary. We can checkmate them. One of the things that we must start doing is to begin to call out all these professors. How can you have a professor that is a vice chancellor, a professor that is an epitome of education and moral character coming to begin to allow himself to be used to rig election and they are not ashamed? Let's begin to post their pictures and their names. World returning officers, coalition officers. That we have the mind, they know what they are, they, they, they know the figures they are given are figures that have been inflated, different from what is in the beavers, different from what is on the IREV, and they still go ahead to announce it. Yes, they will continue to do that because they see that at the end of the day, you guys will just shout and cry, Einek, Mahmoud, Yakub, and they will continue to live their normal day to day lives as if nothing happened. No, 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 all those must change. We must begin to call them out. Particularly in these Edo elections, all those coalition officers from all the wards publish their names. Those involved in this inflation of, of results that are different from what you have on IREV. Call them out. We need their pictures. We need their names. We need their phone numbers. So we can advise them. When they know that the people will react to them, they won't do it again. We can't continue to just be focusing on Abuja focusing on Mahmoud Yakubu. Yes, when it's time to do that, we'll do that. But right now, the people at the World Coalition Center, even at the polling units, those electoral officers and polling unit officers that would tactically fail to bring election results, like in some polling units, there were no election results, result sheets. Some would tactically come late and close early. Even when you have voters in the queue, they will tell you they were instructed to do that. No, it is that person. They tried it in my own polling unit in the 2023 election and we resisted it. By the time we called their superior, we found out that no such instruction were given and we continue to have our, uh, to, to have our vote in that day. Everybody who had been in queue were allowed to vote. So voting went into the night. We went and arranged for light ourselves, arranged for generator, arranged for canopy ourselves we can't just fold our hands and think that these people will do the right thing no they won't the wrong thing is favoring and benefiting them so it is up to us to push the right thing on them professors you should be ashamed of yourselves if you're a child a son a daughter 
a brother, a sister, a relative to these kind of professors, call them and, 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 and warn them. They cannot continue to pull the name of their institutions down in the mud. And we should begin to mention the names of their institutions because it's a disgrace to such institution that their own professor will allow people who are not half as red as they are to use them to rig elections. If we don't do this call out, they will continue to hide under Mahmoud Yakub. This one now, the coalition officer at the world, it's not Mahmoud Yakubu. We need to shine attention on everybody.